Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for stopping by in another planner find video. Today's video is actually a flip through for Flip Through Friday on my October daily from 2020. So if you guys wanna check out this flip through, grab your favorite planner drink and let's jump right in. So welcome back planners, thanks for stopping by and hello if you're new to my channel. I'm Sarah, all things creating and planning and just having fun with all the planner goodies and crafty things. So again, today is Flip Through Friday, which I do on my channel to flip through sticker books, new releases, hauls, planners, project shares, anything really. So today I am sharing with you a flip through much requested on the poll that I posted on YouTube community. If you guys wanted to see a flip through of my October daily from last year or the new HP fall release sticker books. So this one won. I'm excited to share. Uh, before we jump in, uh, let's talk a little bit about October daily. Um, if you search October daily, it's basically a uh, little memory keeping binder, journal, anything really that you want to set up your documentary um, of October in. It's kind of a spin off of Allie Edwards. If you guys are familiar with her, she started December Daily and it's kind of like a spin off of also a project life. So it's just documenting um, October. And it's it also has to do with people who love Halloween more. So you'll see that this is traditionally more geared to Halloween and most of the October dailies, if you look them up, it's geared to Halloween. However, I wanted to introduce this to you guys because I know a lot of you are just in the planner community world and you're new to the planner community world. And I have mentioned this on my Instagram and some of you just don't know what um, October daily is, but essentially that's what it is. It's just documenting every single day in October. Um, so it's just memory keeping really. But because I love this time of year, I'm always down to do October daily. Um, just like someone who is obsessed with Christmas or the winter holidays, and that's why they like to do December uh, daily. So I have posted some prompt ideas over on my Instagram. I will put a screenshot in the video, but definitely just head over to my Instagram. That way you guys can sc screenshot it there and write down some ideas. So my October daily here is actually using the disc system to go with the disbound system. Also, when you look up October daily, you'll notice that a, a lot of traditional October daily um, crafters will use a D ring system or a ring bind system or something like that because normally <laughs> It's, it's definitely more uh, crafty, a definitely crafty project because you add in all these different textile or interactive things to your pages. Um, you'll definitely have to like check out other flip throughs, but this one's super simple. So this one is, I wanted to bring this one um, into October daily for those who like planning or love the disbound system and wanted something a little bit easier and not have to spend so much time on it. Um, this project is time consuming, regardless of this of this um, approach. So you definitely have to like um, try to keep up with it daily. Or I'll give you some tips throughout the video to let you know what other things you can do to keep up with this. Um, I didn't keep up with this that much. I just finished some of the journaling. Like I had all the decorations done. I just didn't journal. So I was past couple days filling in um, the journaling portions. But yeah, this one's kind of like an easy approach. So I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping through this and I'll give you guys some more tips um, throughout the video. Okay, so again, this is the disbound system and it's, it's um, measuring off a mini happy planner. It's not the exact same measurements, but I did go off of this mini divider. So on the front page here, I have some glitter stock paper and then I'll share the paper pad that I use for this collection. Um, mine's kind of mismatch. I think this year I may put together a kit and stick with a certain theme or color so I'm not all over the place, but that's just the way my style is. I like mixing 
things. I don't like to stick to one particular sticker book or paper pad or um, color. I just kind of mix it all, but it can be overwhelming, especially for a 30, 31 day project like this. So anyhow, um, I cut out a, a, a piece from that pattern paper. I added a simply gilded bow here. I kind of distressed this paper pad so it looks a little bit darker. I had like these foam number stickers and I added that on the front. Um, and again, I used a Happy Planner, Mini Happy Planner October divider and just covered that up because it's super sturdy. It's super sturdy and I just, I just don't wanna rip it, but I put double-sided paper on each side. And these are on plastic, classic plastic disc. Okay, so I added a fun little black and white heart vellum. I think I purchased this. I think I purchased this one from Hobby Lobby. And I just cut that down to size. Okay, just had to move that out of the way. So the front page here, well, let me just go ahead and jump to my pages. So all my pages, all my pictures um, are basically are my decorations and pictures are on black cardstock paper. This is a pack of paper that I bought in, at Michael's and then I just cut them down to size. So those are like all my memory keeping pages are on black cardstock paper. Then in between each day, I added Happy Planner notebook paper with lines. That's what I prefer. Um, again, this was supposed to be an easy, approachable daily, uh, October daily project because I, I am a procrastinator and I always jump on projects at the last minute, like this year. So I am trying to start a little bit earlier, but I just, if you decide you like this next year, definitely start like at the beginning of September, um, looking for Halloween stickers, paper pads, um, and just getting that all together in September so you're not like rushing at the end of September and trying to start October 1st. Um, but yeah, I think this is a lot easier. Again, it is really super simple compared to other October dailies, traditional October daily um, albums. So again, this is all on black cardstock paper and then I add scrapbooking paper. And for my days, I um, use Happy Planner um, colorful boxes because I had those and I, I don't ever use those in my spreads as a planner. So I decided to use those to um, label my days. And the numbers are actually from Planner Basics, the Happy Planner sticker book. Um, so day one was all about getting everything out and decorating my house. And what I really loved about using the black cardstock paper was I used a white gel pen. That was really fun. It shows up really cool. So I really like that. And I may continue that this year, but I may add some new colors. <laughs> so yeah, those are just photos of me decorating, um, my daughter getting, getting into spirit. And then this, again, the Happy Planner paper is just extra fill of paper for me to write extra notes on or to decorate. Um, so some of this, again, is done and some of it's not with the journaling. Okay, then I added this um, journaling card from Simply Gilded and I backed it up on extra cardstock paper and punched it in here. It's not the best. I was playing with this. It's not even, but once I glued it down, I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. But I got this last year in my first Halloween washi haul from Simply Gilded and I'm super excited about it. So on the back side, I used the washi that I bought and made like a washi journaling card. A lot of Simply Gilded people do this and I just thought that was really cute. So I added it in here. So these are things that you're gonna add in extra to just make it fun, make it memorable. So this is day two and I just documented that I bought this new Halloween mug at the 99 cent store and I decorated my kitchen coffee corner there. I love doing that and I love buying like fall Halloween mugs every year. I kind of just get one to two because I gotta find space to store those coffee mugs. Okay, so this is day three. 
Um, I just documented that I had a lunch date with hubby and it was good and we, t we took it to go. And then also went to Disney that day and I just documented here with some photos and I used a mix of Halloween stickers and I'll share a little bit towards the end of the video. But that's us going to downtown Disney. Disney wasn't fully open, just downtown Disney. Again, this was last year for 2020. So I have some cute photos there and I put let's shop. And then here is a um, digital download that I bought from my favorite stamp shop. So super cute. I put a simply gilded um, seal bow on it and I just had fun coloring this. I used to color stamp images a lot and it's just so therapeutic with like Copic markers and such. And I just had fun um, making it a Halloween version, um, like Starbucks drink. I will fill in here about that. So in between your days, if you if you don't have anything to document, that's why I, give, I gave those prompts on my Instagram. If you don't have something going on that day, you can do anything that's related to the theme that you're doing. If you're doing Halloween, which again, this is mostly, October Daily is mostly geared to people who love Halloween and everything about it, or fall. So you could do like um, anything, but those prompts are supposed to fill in those days. Um, you don't have to necessarily go in order of the day. You just need to document something every single day. And this is supposed to be for fun. This is so something to look back at. Um, so more pictures, like this is more filling in sections of, um, our trip at Disney because I took tons of pictures. I love the Disney ears that they had. Um, I bought this little Mickey, uh, cookie jar. I don't really know what it is. It's just a cute ceramic. I bought a Halloween bag and then is a, um, this is a tag from a gummy bucket thing. But some of these photos I actually took on another trip to Disney with some friends. So that's what I mean. Like sometimes if you get caught up of not finishing it, you can definitely just add in your photos because it was the same thing that was that year and just add in your favorites. So I think this was just a filler page because this was another time that I went to downtown Disney. I went a lot to downtown Disney. I still haven't went to the parks this year. Okay, so here's day four, and this was crafting hour, so it says witching hour, and I just list out the things that I um, did or use, some of the crafting supplies. I was preparing for a Happy Mail swap, Halloween Happy Mail swap with Alana. She's here on YouTube, and she was on Squad last year, and I sent her some goodies, and then this was a card she sent me back. Uh, and we swapped coffee mugs too, so that was fun. Um, I don't know if I took a picture of that, but definitely take a lot of pictures. That's one thing. You just want to take a lot of pictures. If it's cute and Halloween-ish or fall, whichever you're going to decide, fall theme or Halloween, definitely take a photo. Um, and so I need to journal that. Okay, here's like another, I guess, filler page. Yeah, the next couple of pages. Um, movie nights. This was one of the cards I made when I had like a Halloween crafty night. I bought some stamps and this is a card that I, I took a picture of. It is Alice and then some fun stickers. I just put I love stamps, this was fun. Not so scary movies. And then this is another filler page of my cat Bourbon, just some <laughs> random photos of last year and him in his little costume. I kind of buy them a little something every year, uh, some kind of costume. Sometimes it's not a full costume. It's just mainly like a collar or a little hat or something like that. But there's a picture of him thinking he's helping me with decorating the house. He's just laying on everything. Super cute. Okay, so this is day five. I'm documenting. Um, I went. To, I went to go do some errands, and then I wanted to um, go on this hike. 
and there was like a mountain lion, a mountain lion sighting around that time. And it's been there for a long time. So that was kind of creepy. Um, I know it, I don't know if you can see it, but I know it says like since August that it was sighted, but they still had that sign out, which was really creepy. And the trail was really creepy and I only made it like halfway. <laughs> uh, then I just took a photo of, um, my favorite coffee mug and my craft space. It's all decorated with all the Halloween decor that I put out. Um, here's some that washi that I bought from Simply Gilded and I just kind of decorated this page. Uh, this is day six and I got some happy mail. I went on a fall run and then I have a picture of that stacked washi. Um, and then another picture of bourbon being silly. They had the cutest scratch pads at PetSmart last year. They were really pretty. This is day seven. Um, this is a day that I took my daughter, like in the morning, I took my daughter to school. I took this photo. It was very spooky and very foggy. And I just thought it was a really cool photo. And then she's in her Halloween shirt or just getting into the spirit and reading her book. And then later that day, we went to um, Spirit Halloween, which is something that we do all the time, mainly just me and her now. <laughs> My oldest and husband don't really go too much, but that was fun. Uh, day eight was me prepping for baking night, so I made all the icing ahead of time and got that ready for the girls to decorate the cookies. Um, when they got home and then I just have extra photos in here of like the kitchen with the Halloween decor pumpkin and his little collar a picture a filter picture from Instagram of my daughter um, her nails and then this is a picture of us me and hubby getting lunch so that's day eight. Oh, I did use some of the happy planner um, colorful shape stickers as well Here's some more photos that I took of their cookies and then uh, me making boo baskets for the first time for our neighbors. I've always wanted to do that. Um, it's kind of a new trendy thing. I think, I think it started in 2018 or maybe before then. I just never got to do it yet. So I finally made some of those. And then those were like closest neighbors to us that we've been you know, when COVID happened and all that. Okay, day nine, I took a picture of a perfect fall candle that I got at Michael's. Those are my favorite because they're so inexpensive, but they throw really nicely and I just, I love them. Um, it's called football flannel. I actually still have it. <laughs> I need to buy uh, a longer lighter to light it because it's like almost to the end. Um, I went on a f another fall run, and then I just added some other stickers. Okay, day 10, I documented me meeting up with Desiree and Tina, and we went to um, the Irvine Spectrum here in California, and we just had a girls' day out. It was super fun. We had some nice macaroons. It was still kind of sunny. <laughs> I mean, it's still always sunny here in SoCal. And then here I'm documenting game night with hubby. Um, I like playing WoW, but my favorite time to play WoW, which is World of Warcraft, is Halloween time because of the scene. It's just so fun to play. I don't play that often, but I do like to play this when I can. Honestly, it's like once a year. And then I just wrote down my characters at the bottom. This was a, um, this is a little information about the macaroons that they offered that day at Honey Butter. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And sometimes what I like to do on Instagram, if I share it on Instagram stories and I put the location or I put some cute sticker on it or... A little side note I will definitely save that and print that out I've mentioned that a lot like I love doing that on Instagram saving them and putting them in my planner 
our memory keeping journal. But you definitely want to like keep things like this memorabilia stuff to add to your October daily, like packages, um, stickers or tags like I did with the Disney tag that came on a little bucket. Like this is super cute. So, um, and I wanted to keep this little macaroon flavor cards that they had that day. I think they were giving these stickers out too. They're really cute. Day 11, I documented a little, um, another run day, feeling great, a little selfie there. And then a K-drama that we watched, that I watched with the girls, that was really fun. Uh, I think it was My Ghost or something. I forget what it is, but he's a cutie, the guy in there. But it's, it's a really cute, fun drama. Okay. Um, day 12, I documented, again, I just want you guys to know that you don't have to necessarily document what actually happened every single day. Um, you can just write out some prompts and then sit down and document what would you, what would you like to document because you're, all this is going to be in the same month or the same year or whatever. So I don't want you guys to feel pressure that you have to document things according to to that day unless you have something planned right so we'll talk about more tips in a minute but here I'm documenting a movie night goosebumps some craft things that I worked on um, I got some stamps last year at Michael's and I did a lot of cute creepy Halloween crafts which again I love doing around this time of year and um, my friend's birthday shout out to her on Instagram and I took a little photo um, this is a sticker from my um, order when I bought the stamps. On this side, I put the little card that I got from Pumpkin Paper Co. Because that was my first purchase from them. She had like the cutest Halloween Tim Burton stickers. Um, so I'm excited to use those this year. But I kept the card because she wrote my name on it. I put a little tag here and just wrote, oh my gosh, I love her stickers. Um, on this page, I have a little selfie. I have some Halloween makeup for me and my daughter to to play with. Um, this is like Halloween haul that I took a picture of that I wanted to save because I like to look back at what I bought. Uh, I love this cute photo that I took with my Happy Planner disc. I think this was an Instagram photo that I did last year. Yeah, lots of fun Halloween goodies. Okay, on this page, this this is a filler page. This is a page that I didn't have anything going on the 14th and I just wanted to document these shoes I took a screenshot of and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want these shoes. <laughs> I wish I had these. Uh, the Disney villains are my favorite and I love Vans or Converse. Um, I love Converse more, but Vans are cute. But I was like, oh, I totally need those. So that's another prompt. Like if you see something on Instagram that like a like um, something you want to bake or something you want to replicate, like decorating, take a screenshot of it and document it. Um, this is day 15, which is my husband's birthday. So day 15th is my husband's birthday. He's so lucky that he has a birthday in October. I would, I wish I had a birthday in October. But so like this day in particular is a day that I we planned and um, yeah, we went to an escape room. We bought cake and it was fun. Um, over here, I just put in, i um, sending out boo mail to my nieces and nephews um, and back in Texas. And that's a little screenshot of what they got. Day 16 is what I documented more game nights. These are game screenshots of us playing WoW and my husband showing off. That's what I wrote over here. This is a picture of me um, dressing up for Lila and Danielle's Sparkle and Shine, Sparkle and Shine Live last year. And then just pictures of more of the girls' cookies that they did. And then here's a Instagram story screenshot of Danielle and Lila. And then this is a very small screenshot of everybody on the live. So those are the things that I wrote at the bottom down here. Uh, day 17 is me finalizing or putting together the boo baskets and wrapping them up and 
delivering one of them. I don't think I delivered both of them that day, but we also were invited to our neighbor's little get together and carving pumpkins and they had like this it it was really creepy and i wanted to take a picture of it so i put that in there day 18 i didn't really have anything to document so i decided to do a instagram halloween snap not a snapchat if you have snapchat you can do that too but instagram has more filters now so that's a insta filter selfie and then one of my favorite um, quotes, I'm so glad we live in a world where there are Octobers by Anne, Anne Green Gable. And I'll probably write something there. Day 19, um, Happy Planner had their fun little wallpapers out. So I screenshot some of those and added them in here. Um, watch Zombieland for the first time. Super funny, very gory, and a little inappropriate, but it was funny. Um, uh, my family received their boo box. Boo, I'm sorry. My family received their boo mail. My nieces and nephew, and I took another screenshot, and this one's a little bit larger of all the fun goodies they got. <clears throat> Day 20 was just me um, documenting of me doing yoga. I did a lot of that with my youngest last year. So I put feeling dead, mama needs a yoga session. And then you can't really see this, but this is a sticker that says smell my feet. It's from Alicia Exo's sticker sheet from last year. So day 21, I am documenting um, a coloring book that I found and having a coloring sesh, watching Snow White, the classics are the best. Um, over here is like some goodies that I picked up around Halloween. I love grabbing like tumblers or again Halloween mugs um, every year. This is a picture of um, pumpkin in my studio space. I'm trying to take um, photos and I think he was trying to lay on my planners and everything. So I took a picture of him and then some Halloween socks that I found. Day 22 is me and my daughter out for a fall run. We had, and then I also screenshot the weather. I love doing that too. So we had 66 degree weather, which that hasn't happened right now. Like during the day, it's at nighttime it does, but right now it's still hot. So I'm missing really cooler weather. Um, here's a picture of bourbon again. He's so cute. And I took a picture of the fall leaves outside. And actually on this particular one, I, I journaled over here that night we saw a coyote, um, which they're not scary at all. When I first came out here and I saw one, I was freaked out, but they're more scared than we are. So um, it, I'm not really scared of those, but the mountain lions, yes. <laughs> and then over here, uh, Pumpkin has his, we put his little um, collar costume thing on his, and he didn't like it at all. So... He was not having it. <laughs> he was trying to take it off. All right, day 23 is, um, I took a picture in the drive-thru at Dunkin' Donuts because they had like all this cute decoration out and I just thought that was nice because we were in the year of 2020 and it just felt nice that they had decorations out or getting into the, the, the fall spirit. So I just, I took a picture of that and it was Friday. This is actually, again, another screenshot in my Insta stories because I like using the, the stickers and stuff. Um, my daughter and pumpkin hanging out together. And then the donuts, I got cider donuts for me and hubby. That sounds so good right now. Okay, I think the rest of this I didn't finish up, but I'll just go ahead and share. So the 24th was a spa night. So this was another thing that I planned that actually happened. Um, so this was like a first thing ever. I was like, okay, let's have a ghoul spa night. And it was really fun. So we got to wear a mask, watch some movies, had like spa related food. And I took a picture of what I bought. Over here is another picture of some candles and soaps from Bath and Body Works. So that's something that you could do as a prompt to document if you love doing that. Screenshot of... I'm probably going to put my favorite 
Halloween movies on this page. This is day 25. Because this is a screenshot of the Apple and Snow White. Okay, so day 26 is the day we have... We, so in October in SoCal is fire season, which I th actually think it's earlier than that. But they always hit here in October. And we actually had one like in our city and we actually had to evacuate and so I took photos of that and I really wanted to document that because that was super 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 scary for me <laughs> and we had our cats here and yeah it was crazy um but we did get to stay in a nice hotel that took pets which was really great because I yeah, I'm so thankful that a hotel had taken our pets because we couldn't leave our pets behind and it was closer to the beach and we took a photo here. We look, I'm going to ride in here. We look happy, but it was not on a good day. <laughs> um, and then we had lunch by the beach just to get things off our mind or to calm down. So that was that day. I think we stayed out there for like three days. And then tw day 28, we were in the hotel and I came across this show called The Dead Files. It was playing um, all day or something. There's pumpkin outside the window on the balcony. But I flipped through this this year and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to look at this show again because I like this show, The Dead Files. I don't take it too seriously, but I just think it's funny and interesting. So it was a good show. Um, and I never would have found this if I wasn't in the hotel, but. Okay, so here are some pictures. Um, of things that I, or the, like, from the fire that I wanted to document, like, what had happened that day, what I took with me, or what I tried to grab to take with me, um, besides, you know, my kids, my cats, but my photo albums of the kids, I keep those downstairs now, so when that happens. And then, here's another filler page, um, I had, I just had, I've taken a lot of photos, and, um, since I couldn't use them all on the day, the actual day, that's why these these are extra filler pages or extra pictures, repeat pictures. But this was a, a haul of all the stamps that I got that year from her shop, which I love. Not too shabby shop. I will link her down below if you guys are interested. Um, here's a picture of after. Firemen were still like picking up things afterwards when we got home. Here's a picture of bourbon at the hotel. <laughs> and some pumpkins oh I think we had pumpkins in the house when we got back um, we must have bought them and just left them there okay this is day 30 I'm taking a picture of my planner page and that's another thing if you don't have anything but you love you know planning and your layouts and stuff take a picture on one of the days that you don't have anything going on or you don't know what to document Take a picture of all your favorite fall Halloween spreads and just post them in there and document that. Or your favorite um, 10 things you love about Halloween or five things you love about Halloween or it's endless of what you can document. Definitely be creative and have fun with it. Um, this day I documented my favorite cup. Where is this cup actually? This better be up in my cabinet. <laughs> On the very top. I try to put my favorite Halloween ones, especially the ones from Disney. This one's from Disney on the very top of my cabinet space. But I put having a great morning. Again, it's a screenshot from Instagram um, on my personal Insta stories. Creep show. This is a back in the day 80s old show. And yeah, this is a picture of a spread I did last year. I loved it. Super cute. And I just love all the green action going on here. Um, so I, I think, yeah, this was kind of like a filler page for me to just post a lot of green. Green is my favorite color. And then, um, my planner space, this cute cup, this is a smoothie, but it's in, um, walking dead cup and then a salad, the same salad that I made, which I really need to get back into eating more salads. Um, this is so th this is day 31. It's all our trick-or-treating carving pumpkins um, Even after all that fire stuff, we still had a great Halloween. We set this up for trick-or-treaters I didn't know if we got any. I don't actually don't remember. That's why it's sometimes important I'm gonna share a trick about if you forget what to write <laughs> um, 
yeah, I think we did a couple, but not a whole lot. And then we carved pumpkins at home. We got dressed up, had cupcakes. And then these are some extra pages in here that I wanted just to add, um, like from the fire and stuff. Um, there's a picture of me and my daughter all dressed up, taking tons of Instagram photos or filters. And then I made this off of Pic Collage. I always put that app in every video that I have. It's like the best with decorating. I don't use Canva. I know a lot of people use Canva, but I use Pic Collage. It's the easiest for me. I've used it for a long time. But that is a flip through of my October daily. And again, the back side is just glitter stock paper with pattern paper. So um, tips on getting started, definitely think about if this is something you wanna do and if you have time to catch up, if, even if you don't finish like I did. I didn't necessarily finish the journaling part, but I did finish you know, getting it together and having the foundation for it. Um, you want to have like a journal on the side every day, just something quick and easy for you to rough draft a thought or a day for every day that you want to document. And then have some filler ideas, filler prompts, definitely take photos. And you can either, what I did is I took photos through the, the whole week. And then at the end of the week, I went and got my print, my photos printed off. Um, or you can do it at the end of the month, but I would prefer to do it at the end of the week So you have all your photos that you want to put in your October daily um, Yeah, so make sure that you have an idea of what you want to document write it out Make sure you're filling those those days that you have things planned um, and then have a kit together so Hopefully I can share a little kit together of some of the things that I'd like to use because if you're like me and you have stuff everywhere, but you like to stay organized, definitely have a set theme, uh, color or something, little Halloween kit to put together of what you're going to be using. Um, so I'll go ahead and share what I used or a little bit of my Halloween stash. So if you guys have any more questions, definitely, you know, Put your comments here on YouTube or DM me if you have any other questions about what October Daily is. So I have this here that I was using last year to cart everything in. This is from Daiso. It's just a little accordion or zip folder thing. It's in their stationary area. So I had all this in here with my stickers and such so I could take it downstairs or whatever, just to glue and paste my foundation pages. Um, this is Simply Gilded sticker album, which I would put stickers in. I would cut my photos to put in here and I would label it because you can also, you don't have any, you don't have to start this year. You could start on a year previous. If you have a bunch of Halloween photos from a previous year, you can catch up on that and just label the year. So these are really great for um, organizing your photos and just putting a post-it on whatever it is that you're filing. So I have photos here that I've cut up, planner related stickers for my stash way back in the day that I thought, you know what, I need to try to use these up. Um, these are from actually Happy Planner. Oh, I forget which one this is called but those are all cut up. I, I should not do that because then they just get lost and everywhere. But this is a Simply Gilded sticker album that I use for this particular project. And then I would just put everything in this one and then I have this mini one. This is how I stayed organized last year. I may change it up this year. So this is another little pocket thing. that has little pockets on each side and it's clear. Um, I put my journaling cards here that I got last year and then the one I got this year from Simply Gilded, um, Pumpkin Paper Co. Yeah, Pumpkin Paper Co. And then I have these envelopes that I labeled my photos. And then here's a stack of stickers that I've been using 
Happy Planner recollections last year. A lot of recollections. Oh, this is something that I made for the Happy Planner mini pocket potato pocket sleeves that I'm going to use for my mini Happy Planner. I was going to set that up. Some more foam stickers. I think these are from Dollar Tree. Recollections, recollections. Um, also, some good places to find Halloween stickers is the greeting card section at your grocery stores. They have really great sticker packs. These are from Target. Um, Daiso, Daiso, the greeting card section. And then on this pocket side, I have Etsy stickers. So I have Create with Mandy from last year's Halloween collection. I have Alicia Michelle XO. Um, create with Mandy, create with Mandy. I have the Pumpkin Paper Co. Super cute. They're all like um, Beetlejuice, Coraline, Adam's Family themed, Hocus Pocus. I think she had like a Halloween party set. The bucket List, um, Edward Scissorhands. She has a lot of great ones and they're very miniature. Zero, Oogie Boogie, Jack, Beetlejuice, Corpse Bride, all the stuff that I love. Um, I love Tim Burton. Then this is Shine Sticker Studio. And these are planner stickers, but I just thought maybe I could implement some of it. Like if I want to do a movie night, you know, write out my top favorites, my favorite characters, anything really. I just wanted to have those in here. But that's how I kind of keep things organized in here at the moment. But I'm going to put together a new kit. I'm, I'm thinking about getting a little extra cart for my space for maybe seasonal things. Like crafty projects and swapping it out seasonally. Because if you guys follow my Instagram, I shared that I have, um, I have other carts that are just full and I don't want to have to like move that around. Okay, lastly, you can also put a kit together in one of these. This is a smaller one that usually Michaels has. I think this was just random. I don't even know if they stocked these. But if you have one, um, these are a lot smaller than the big 12 by 12 deep iris boxes. This is what they used to call them. But they're just, there are 12 by 12 containers. But you can use this to put your kit together in. Mine is very messy because I was working on my last year but I have like Walmart confetti die cuts um, the scrapbook paper let me show the paper real quick so this was the paper that I bought last year it's called pink pink a boo I hope that's what it's called but this is the one I used some of the pieces but this was this was what I'm talking about like I can't just stay with these colors I like to mix it up I want to I may just go traditional this year because I, I feel like I can stay traditionally than pastel through my entire album. So anyhow, I have some pieces here that I cut up. Um, these were those images that I was coloring one night and I wanted to give them all a different like spooky theme. Like this was supposed to be the zombie. Starbucks did a zombie um, Frappuccino drink, like I think in 2018 or 2019. I have a photo of it <laughs> and I was trying to replicate that. And this one was supposed to be a witch's brew or something. And this was candy corn that I did. So those I may stick in this year's too because I really like them. I have lots of different stickers. In here, paper pads, tags to add. But this is something you could use to put together a kit so you can work on it separately. So I hope that helps. So I, I will try to have another video up of my kit, what I'm using this year to use as my October daily. I'm thinking it's going to still be like a journal type of thing. It's not going to be a D ring or a, a ring system. It may just be a journal or disc system, not a ring. Cause again, that's what you normally see in October daily albums. But I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through Friday and some of the information that I gave to you about October daily. You guys can definitely join me over on Instagram. I'm gonna try to share 
you know, pop on a live and share maybe a processing page. Um, of course, I'll probably will share <laughs> on Instagram this flip through or talk a little bit about that because there are some people asking about it and I'm assuming they don't have a YouTube or something, but um, I'm gonna share that. What I'm using this year, a little kit setup. I'm gonna post the prompts. So if you guys wanna check out the prompts, again, those are just ideas for when you get stuck and you don't know what to document. There's not like a set day or plan or anything like that. But uh, once you have your foundation pages or an idea of what you're doing, definitely don't forget about the days that you are doing something and just put a sticky note on each page. So again, you can definitely follow me on Instagram and I'll have a hashtag in the video of what I'm gonna use so that way I can see your creations if you decide you want to join me or you can definitely just follow along. Um, that way maybe you can start this next year or you can transition it into Christmas or the holidays. But um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye. <laughs>